seemingly unavoidable beef between Saul Canelo Alvarez, one of the faces of boxing, and his former promoter Oscar de la Hoya. The founder of Golden Boy Promotions, overshadowed a press conference ahead of the undisputed super middleweight champion's title defense Saturday against challenger Jamie Mungia. The match, which takes place at the 20,000-capacity T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada, pits two popular Mexican fighters against one another with both fighters promosing a bloodbath and a knockout. But Wednesday's press conference, which Gimsport attended, showed hostile animosity between Canelo and De La Hoya has failed to fade with the passage of time. De La Hoya represented Canelo during the fighter's formative years as a U.S. commodity, but the fighter left Golden Boy in 2020 and went on to generate massive fights working alongside rival promoters like Eddie Hearn of Matchroom and Al Heyman of Premier Boxing Champions. Canelo has gone on to become an even bigger superstar in his post-Golden Boy days, beating the likes of Callum Smith, Billy Joe Saunders, Caleb Plant, Gennady Golovkin for a third time, John Ryder, and, most recently, Jermel Charlo. He returns. To the ring Saturday but rather than the hot contest against Mungia, focus has instead shifted toward his ongoing argument with his former promoter. Canelo took umbrage to De La Hoya's comments to a room filled with Gimsport and other reporters, as the veteran. Promoter said Alvarez has trouble remembering who helped him become a true global star and implored his former fighter to put some respect on his name. De La Hoya also referenced two failed drug tests when Canelo tested positive for clenbuterol in 2018. As reported by ESPN at the time. Responding, Canelo said in Spanish, he then stood up and the warring figures began to quarrel even further. With De La Hoya insisting he wrote what he had read out. Canelo said more curse words in Spanish, and. Then added, the ones who do everything are behind you. Insinuating figureheads like Eric Gomez, Golden Boy president and a childhood friend of De La Hoya's. Call all the shots at the company. Canelo later appeared to reference a legal complaint Golovkin filed in 2022, as reported by ESPN at the time. In which the Kazakh boxer claimed he was still owed $3 million from the 2018 fight he had with Alvarez. Canelo also said that he already had name value before he ever signed with Golden Boy Promotions, and that De La Hoya only ever made money from that name. Speaking to Givensport and other reporters during a post-presser huddle, De La Hoya said that, if the confrontation went from bad to worse, then he was ready to get physical. I was ready, De La Hoya said. Clenched fists and all. Obviously he's not going to do anything. He's got a fight on Saturday. He can't take the truth. Fighters like that, they can't have me around because the attention is diverted off them and he hates that. I know how to get under his skin. This is fight week. It's game on. Considering the bad blood between these two it would be easy to assume Canelo was fighting De La Hoya on Saturday, however, the fight, which airs as a pay-per-view on Prime Video is against Mungia.